a spiral columns is another type of uh, column that uh, we normally uh, use in uh, buildings okay so the first one is uh, the one that we discussed uh, a while ago which is the uh, tide column and uh, this next one is uh, the spiral column okay so what is the difference between uh, between the two okay Okay, so um, we have here some a formula on spiral column wherein again the actual load okay so we are referring here again on the actual uh, load capacity uh, given by the formula uh, PU is equal to phi 0.85 uh, multiplied by 0.85 FC prime AG plus AST FY minus 0.85 FC prime okay so if you will take a look there is no difference in this part no so this is the same as uh, the tide column formula no same here as the tide uh, ang nag-iba lang dito class is this part here okay ano nag-iba dyan no so the efficiency of a tide column is 0.80 so this time the efficiency is 0.85 okay so this is a uh, 0.85 and your fee for uh, tide column is 0.70 so your fee now for spiral is 0.75 Okay, so you take note of this, no? Uh, what is phi on the spiral? So you, you will use your phi to be 0.75. So it simply means that uh, uh, spiral columns are more efficient than tide columns. And the reason for that is because of the efficiency of confinement. No, so this is the spiral column is efficient in providing confinement on your concrete okay when you say confinement uh, if you have here a, uh, a spiral reinforcement okay so the spiral is just like a spring no so you you have a spring or a spiral and then you have here of course a uh, a circular uh, uh, section of the column so maybe your column will uh, look like uh, this okay so the this this is spiral reinforcement of course there are there are also vertical bars that the, uh, that are inside inside this spring so so there are okay vertical uh, reinforcement there placed okay okay so this this uh, spiral we are particularly concerned with uh, this green okay this spiral uh, reinforcement here will provide a very very good confinement strong confinement such that your concrete inside the spiral cannot just get away or burst outside the column when you apply a very big load let's just say I apply a very heavy load P here very big so the the concrete inside the spiral 
uh, will not move laterally and because of that deformations and strain will be uh, limited to a, uh, a minimum okay so it will be limited and therefore it is more efficient in terms of the resistance to the loads okay so that's the explanation on why spiral reinforcement or spiral column is much more efficient than tied columns but if you will look into the to the aspect of construction spiral columns are costlier are more ex expensive are more difficult to to uh, construct than tied columns that's why if you will notice buildings they often use tied columns because uh, uh, the efficiency is not a problem uh, when it comes to a proper design although uh, spiral columns are more efficient but tight columns are more cheaper or much cheaper than uh, uh, spiral columns but of course if you have uh, no problem with the budget uh, spiral columns are are very uh, strong that's why if you look into bridges uh big buildings okay long columns uh, they often use spiral columns because it's more efficient but it's more difficult to construct therefore it's more expensive okay so that's the comparison between the two but our our objective for this lecture is not all about economy and the construction uh, aspect of it our our objective is to to uh, understand how it is designed and analyzed so uh, we can forget about those things uh, for the meantime okay okay so let's start now uh, digging into the code requirement for the minimum diameter of the spiral reinforcement uh, the diameter of the spiral DS must be equal to 10 millimeter for bars uh equal to 32 mm or smaller okay so 32 mm or smaller uh, you can use 10 mm but for bars which are larger than 32 uh, starting from 36 mm including bundled bars so what are bundled bars so bundled bars are just the bars that are placed uh, side by side like this this is a three bar a uh, three bar bundle okay so you have a bundled bar here so you use bundled bars uh, when you need to to have uh, a bigger reinforcement but you don't have any available okay maybe you can uh, the 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 market uh, it has cannot provide you with a very large bar like a 36 mm bar is very scarce in the market so instead of getting 36 you can use uh, uh, let's say uh, 325 mm no which is more or less equivalent to the area of a 36 mm diameter bar so something like that okay for those kinds of bars your diameter spiral must be 12 mm okay you you, you don't have to use 16 mm because that's a very difficult to to uh, fabricate like this no this is a spring type of uh, of a reinforcement so 16 mm diameter are not a practical choice to make when it comes to uh, spiral reinforcement okay i'd like you to take note now of a formula on raw s which is called the minimum ratio of spiral reinforcement equivalent to 45% of this quantity here, no? AG over AC minus 1, FC prime over FY, where the values of AG and AC are given, uh, are defined in terms of the area of the gross section, okay? So you get the, the AG on this area, okay? The whole area. 
this shaded by it's only a circle actually okay so that's uh, your AG and AC is the area that is within the diameter C DC here okay so we we are now talking of uh, of uh, this area inside okay inside the spiral reinforcement okay so if you have an AG there you have an AC here so that's how to compute your uh, AG and AC okay for your raw S uh, which is defined in terms of the uh, formula above the 45 percent of the quantity AG over AC minus 1 times FC prime over FY you can equate that with this formula here which is simply a ratio of the volume of the spiral all over the volume of the concrete core so when we are talking of the volume of the spiral we are referring here to the reinforcement not the concrete no volume of the rein the spiral reinforcement and the volume of concrete core is uh, the volume inside okay this diameter c or the c stands for the core of concrete okay so this is actually equivalent simply by subtracting the cover so you call this now the clear cover twice with or from the gross diameter d okay so for the mean diameter Okay, so this is now the core diameter. So let's define it. This is the mean diameter. Okay, and this is the gross diameter or simply the diameter of the column. Okay, so this is the column diameter. Okay. So where, do we, where will you use the DM here? The DM is used on the volume of the spiral. Okay? So the spiral reinforcement, uh, you, you are getting now one complete uh, circular path of this sp spiral uh, reinforcement that will confine your concrete. So it's just the area of the spiral so this volume of the spiral is simply the area of the spiral multiplied by one complete, okay? This is one complete revolution, okay? This is circumference of the, okay, pi times diameter mean. Okay, so this is the mean diameter and the volume of the concrete core is simply the area of the concrete core so what's the concrete core so this is the diameter of the core so the area of the core multiplied by the spacing of the spiral okay s so that's how to use uh, this formula here okay so in short this formula will arrive to this formula so some cancellation will take effect such that uh, this will now be your equation okay what is dc minus db this is actually the mean diameter okay dm so i'm just explaining to you how this formula here will be used and equated with this code formula this is the code formula this is the actual interpretation of the uh, definition of the spiral reinforcement. Okay, so uh, that ends my lecture, my explanation how the spiral reinforcement works. Again, as I have told you, I want you to look over the, these are board problems I picked. Okay, you can use now this, this uh, concept in solving uh, problem 1.3, uh, 1.4, and 1.5. And the answers are here, okay? But don't worry, 
uh, we will we will uh, discuss this next meeting but i just want you to uh, to uh, read your lecture and uh, try you not know, try to solve this uh, these problems first uh, and then you write the questions in your mind so that you can better understand uh, the uh, concept and the procedure and how to deal with the uh, these are just simple problems in columns okay so any question on uh, on this uh, particular lecture